This is for position three. And tonight's AMA. Van Ginnigan, Mercon. Two laps on the board. A lot slower pace through three and four. There's the white line. Van Ginnigan's got Mercon. Mercon's gonna sail it in round the top side, have all that momentum. Van Ginnigan went to the bottom, tries to get the horsepower down. Mercot went to go the slider, he knew he had to go to the top because Van Ginnigan was going to stay on the bottom. Look at the horsepower of Mercot, the slide is going to happen. Oh, no oh. contact! Oh! That's a crunch of Mercot, and that has come to a crunching lock. All right, Mercot is undoing his belts. Tim Van Ginnigan out of the race car. They're not happy. But come on, Darwin, how about putting your hands together for both of them? They're both out of their cars. And a little bit of heavy feeling would be the only way to describe what's going on here at the moment. I don't know how much damage has been sustained to the 83 car, but man, it just shows how on the edge they are in this situation. The feeling up here on the hill is that could be a little bit more damage than they'd like. And I guess some, where some people argue that when they're driving at 11 tenths on a racetrack like this, this is where a pole shuffle comes into its own and can tend well, to have these sort of incidents, Stu. Yeah, so Dave Murcott, he's okay. Just talking to officials. Tim Van Ginning, and he's okay as well. Obviously, fair bit on the line. Just looking, front axle beam definitely bent on this car. Of top wing, yeah, you can tell that's destroyed. Front wing, but just looking at the frame until the guys, well, when I do come back here, tail tank is off this car, and I'm going to bring our cameraman in. TVG, he's welcome back. So I just want to come in here and really show, we can really show you what the rear end looks like. And actually, I want you to go back here. Obviously, they weren't, Tim Van Ginningham wasn't real happy, but now they're welcome back, chatting to each other, just back there now, so, which is fantastic, but we'll go back. Onto this rear end here, you can see the tail tank has come right out of the car. The fuel lines are still all connected. But this is the biggest thing here I want to show you. We'll just get you over this way so we can get this tow truck in. But this bar down here, she is bent in that way probably by about two to three inches. So it'll be interesting to see whether the guys will still race this car. There is a little bit of oil and a little bit of methanol leaking out of the back of that car as well. But that was a big lick for David Murcott and Tim Van Ginning, and I believe we've got a replay, so let's have a look up on the big screen. Benny Bishop. It's gonna be hard to call this, I just think we will watch and see if we can work it out for ourselves. Uh, oh. I don't even wanna make a call. Let's look at it from another angle, check out the super screen. Crossing that line, getting the view from down the back of the front straight. Mercott goes to go on the inside. They're side by side, tries to straighten up. And it almost looks like Van Ginnigan's tried to steer out of it at the time as well. But you can understand that that's in slow motion. What we're going to do now is play that back for you in real time and you tell me if you're in this situation would you know what to do in this split second Ugh. it comes to a big big shunt so glad that they're both okay that's the way it is put your hands together for tim van ginnigan and dave Murcott. as both cars are out so that changes the way that things go we're going to take a short break while they get the next car started for the rest of the pole shootout one last shot. Oh, gee, that was a violent hit. All right, 